So Clarinet is a trial that looks at the efficacy of a drug called clopidogrel, which we also know by its trade name Plavix, to prevent clot formation or thrombus formation in the shunts of children with congenital heart disease. Well, approximately one in every 100 children who are born uh, have a congenital heart defect. Some of those children with congenital heart defects uh, have problems with the partitioning of blood within the heart or not getting enough blood to the lungs. So these are blue babies, and it's important to uh, devise ways to provide blood to the lungs. So typically these are children who are waiting for a more definitive surgical procedure uh, later in life, and they have the shunt as sort of a short-term, early necessary procedure to make sure they have enough blood going to the lungs. But one of the problems with these shunts is that they are prone to clot prematurely. I think the key message is that in the doses that are used in this study, clopidogrel is not effective at reducing the complications of clot formation in the shunts of children with cyanotic congenital heart disease. That's an important takeaway message, also linked to the fact that the clinicians really should not replace their now common practice of using aspirin with Plavix because there is increasing evidence that aspirin, in contrast with Plavix, is indeed effective at reducing clot formation in these shunts in these very fragile children in the first few weeks of life. The one thing that we've learned, of course, in studying new drugs as they come to market, primarily for adults, is that children are simply not little adults. They have a whole different circumstances that may apply and make the result, either in terms of efficacy or safety, uh, very different in its outcome uh, as applied to children. So it's an important example of how we can't just extrapolate from the adult experience, apply it to children, and think that it's both safe and effective.